Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education. I want to give you some follow-up on our little patient with huge tonsils, okay? When I see that, these are the questions I ask mom and dad. Number one, are they restless sleepers? Are they all over the bed? If you sleep next to them, do they kick you in the gut? Number two, are they mouth breathers? Number three, are they difficult to wake up in the morning? Number four, do they pause while they're sleeping at night like this? Does it make you scared? Number five, do they bed wet? A lot of times kids with sleep apnea will still bed wet as they get older. And lastly, do they have signs and symptoms of ADHD? So let's take a look at our patient. I want you to take a listen to this. Listen to the pause. You hear that gasp, okay? So why is this so important? A, you want these kids to sleep better, but there's an association with obstructive sleep apnea and ADHD. 30% of kids that have OSA will also have ADHD. So take those 30% and put them over here. And those kids who have both OSA and ADHD, if you treat their OSA, usually with a tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy, 81% of this population, their ADHD, their ADHD symptoms will resolve. So if you have a patient, a child with ADHD, please make sure you're checking for obstructive sleep apnea because that may be their problem.